Magandang araw mga kapitbahay from Bataan, Bulacan, Pampanga, Interlock. Nandito na naman po tayo sa Mrs. Galang's Kitchen kung saan tayo nasa season 3 na. Can you believe? Mm! Oh. Parang kailan lang, ano? Oo, oh, oh. nag enjoy lang tayo dito. Ang dami sa... na natin ginawang taping. Oo. Oh, oh. So nagkakanda, puyat-puyat tayo at saka yung ating sinasabi. <laughs> Kunyari. Ano na, hindi bali. Enjoy naman ako, basta oh, para sa mga viewers. sana kung gano'ng kami ka-enjoy sa paghanda ng Mrs. Galang's Kitchen, ganun din din yung na-enjoy aming mga recipes. Katulad po ngayon, naghanda po ng uh, isa sang uh, sikat na kapampangan. Kapampangan ano? Ano ba Kanin? Delicacy? Delicacy okay. na lang. Delicacy, no? Sa aming salita sa Pampanga, ang tawag namin dito, boboto. Pero mas kilala siya sa pangalang tamales. Pwede rin almusal yan, eh. Pwede rin merienda. Oh, yung iba, inuulam sa kanin yan. May kilala ako, inuulam sa kanin yan. Ako, sa pandesal. Ah, yung okay. Yung na pandesal, masarap yan. So, nagugutom na ako. So, hindi na po namin patatagalin. Oh, mag magbabalik po kami para sa demo ng aming tamales. Magandang araw po mga kapitbahay. Native po tayo ngayon. This recipe is, pati, kasi this recipe is, kasi may makasod pa ito, were specially requested by my number one fan. Kailangan po siya maging number one fan po because he gets to shoot and edit all this, all this show na nakikita nyo sa, ano, sa TV. Eh, sabi po niya sa akin, maglutulutu naman daw tayo ng mga native na kakanin at sa mga kalamay. So, ito po ngayon ang aming gagawin, tamales. So, for the ingredients, medyo marami po ito, ha? Uh, be sure na meron na kayong hawak na ano, papel at habol pen kasi madami-dami ito. Okay, we need, for the red part of the tamales, we need 30 grams of rice flour toasted. Half cup of coconut milk from the second extraction. Half cup of chicken broth with a piece of ano, uh, chicken bouillon ito eh, nasa tabi. Tapos, uh, one and one half teaspoons of garlic chopped. Two tablespoons of achuete oil. One and one half teaspoons of bagoong or shrimp paste. One fourth cup of onions, chopped. One fourth teaspoon of freshly ground pepper. One fourth teaspoon of sugar. Two tablespoons of achuete oil, one cup of chicken meat boiled, one fourth teaspoon pepper, one fourth teaspoon of sugar, three boiled eggs. Boiled and shelled peanuts. One tablespoon heating pot of peanut butter. And then for the white part of the tamales, we need 200 grams of rice flour, 6 cups of coconut milk, third extraction, 
3 4 cup of onions chopped 2 tablespoons of cooking oil 1 tablespoon of garlic chopped 2 teaspoons coarse salt 1 fourth teaspoon freshly ground pepper 1 half cube of chicken bouillon 3 fourth cup of chicken broth Okay, for the first procedure uh, isusok po natin yung ating uh, rice flour dito sa coconut milk I said third extraction because when we squeeze freshly grated coconut we used to get the coconut cream first without an addition of water tapos we'll put about 4 cups or 3 cups of water depende po sa gano karaming kailangan nyo sa recipe then we will squeeze again that is the second extraction and then this is the third extraction now we added again this time uh, 6 cups po ang ginamit naming uh, water to get the 6 cups of coconut milk so we will now add this to our rice flour isosok natin ito so after uh, squeezing our coconut milk oh, first muna coconut cream I usually and it's you should refrigerate it para hindi mo spoil now the cream will float on top and this is what you see now nag solid po siya dahil nilagay namin sa rep so, I will leave this, set it aside muna, and we'll add it later pag sa panlasa ko eh, we need some more uh, creaminess from the coconut. So, we'll set it aside kasi whenever I cook, I make sure na meron tao pong mahilig sa malinamnam, meron namang hindi, meron agad na susuya. So, what I do is, nasa in between ako, nasa gitna. And then I will just add, tell my students or the viewers, like in your case now, the viewers, I will tell you to add more if you feel na sa panlasa ninyo, you need more coconut milk taste in your tamales. So we will soak this for a while, maybe, maybe about 30 minutes. Uh, para po mag-bloom or mamaga yung ating rice flour. And it will be easier for us to cook the tamales then. Well, in the olden days, uh, rice is uh, soaked and then freshly, uh, you know, it's a grind nila yun. But since na marami na tayong rice flour around, sabi ko, para to make this kakanin making easier, gagamit na lang ako ng rice flour. Pero nung una po, I use talagang bigas. Na isoak it, na isosok ko overnight, tapos dadali namin sa palengke ipapagiling namin, we'll have it grind, and then after that, we will, ano, uh, what do you call it, strain ko sa cheesecloth, para maalis yung mga magaspang ng bigas, kasi pag hindi mo inalis yun, it will take so long to cook it. Now, with the use of coconut flour, which is very, very fine, tamales making is a lot easier. So, yun po ang isang purpose kung bakit ito ang ginamit ko ngayon. Dahil, andyan na naman ang rice flour, eh. Now, going back to the other part, dun sa red part, we will soak the toasted rice flour with the second extraction. At in, kung hindi nyo man nakita sa camera, sa TV, nakita, meron po siyang konting buo na gata, na, whole, na cream. Well, kasi po kailangan itong nasa top ng ating tamales is a little bit richer than the white part. I want it that way para parang kung baga sa palabok. In fact, when I was uh, creating, I, I, won't say, I won't say creating, when I was making my recipe of tamales, this is my recipe, ang nasa isip ko yung palabok. Because the ingredients are so similar pag gumagawa ka ng pansit palabok. Halos ganito po ang ingredients. Noodles nga lang yun, ito naman, rice flour. So, 
di ba yung ating palabok meron siyang topping na redis so ito yun ganyan lang yun tapos meron pa siyang slice din sa ibabaw so ang lasa nito at saka yung lasa ng palabok magkahawig wala nga lang kalamansi ito so we will soak this at set, let it set, set it aside habang nagdigisak po tayo ng ating mga bawang at saka sibuyas so medyo you will notice that it's taking longer for me to dissolve the rice flour here kasi nga po it's toasted medyo tuyong tuyo na at saka we are using a thicker cream which is the second extraction so anyway mas easier to dissolve po ang rice flour kaysa sa ordinary arena yung all purpose flour so I will set it aside and then we'll start to saute or the other ano the bawang the sibuyas after soaking the toasted rice flour and the rice flour you can start sauteing our garlic so Una muna yung ating uh, atsweti oil. This is for the red part. So, atsweti oil, garlic. So, after the garlic, we'll add the baguong. Why baguong? You can use patis if you want. But I find na mas flavorful po ito. So, we we'll let the bagoong uh, simmer first in the atsweti uh, oil before we add the rest of the ingredients. Why? Because our shrimp paste is raw. So, kung gusto niyo maglasang hilaw na bagoong yung tamalis niyo, eh, go ahead. Pag sunod yung ingredients. No, pero, I prefer uh, cooking first and drying the bagoong before I add the onions. Ayun, kung ang bagaw niya, kinuha niyo lang doon sa mga stock niyo sa rep na nakagisa na, ay, ano na yan, hindi na kayo maghihintay. Eh, ano po ito, eh, hilaw to, galing sa palimuti. Okay, so now, medyo dry na. I'll add the onions. Pwede rin dito yung red na onions, kasi red part ito na, ano eh, ng tamales. As I was telling them a while ago, Personally, hindi po ako mahilig matakain ito. Kasi nung bata ako, hindi pa bumibili ang father na ito nito dahil ayaw ng nanay ko. Kaya kagagawan lahat ng nanay ko kung bakit ayaw ko ng tamales. But I have to learn how to do this dahil nga sa nire-request ko ng mga estudyante. Yung mga nagpupunta sa ibang bansa. So I need a little bit more of ano? That's why the oil. This is not to make the mixture oily, but to get that red color. Maski anong lagay po namin ng atsuete, pag katapos in steam, nagiging light din ang konti eh. So I will add, I will try adding more color. I hope it works. So now, uh, intayin po natin mag-wilt yung ating ano, onions. Take time when you saute this ingredients, the onions, the sibuyas, the kamatis. Because ayaw nating lasang hilaw yung ating sibuyas. So, okay lang na ano. Isa na ito na mong hilaw. So, at least. But, you have to watch it. Mga mamaya, tuyo na pala yung niluluto nyo. Masulog na yan. Lalo na ngayon, konti lang ang ating ano ingredients, konti lang ang liquid natin. So, you really have to watch what you're doing. Now, we can now add a little, ano, uh, pwede na yung mixture natin ng, ano, ng rice flour. Stir it. And then you have to stir it continuously while you're pouring the mixture. Para hindi siya mag-iibor.
and then we will have to add a little uh, chicken broth and typical of ano, our native uh, ulam nilalagyan ko yan ng mga buyon or yung iba betsin so if you ano, makikita nyo it is uh, getting thicker that's the rice flour but I will now add a little broth to cook the rice flour kasi kung hindi po hilaw ang lasa niya And I will add now my half piece of no, bouillon cube as chicken bouillon. Kung bata nga ako eh, we have big jars of ano, gachin in our kitchen. Kung isang beses yung lolo ko, siyempre lolo, matanda na no, biglang tumakbo sa akin. Bakit ka nalang lasa ng kapi ko? Bakit? Lasang bachin, saan ba kinuha yan? O yun, binigay niya sa akin yung bote ng bachin, yung palang nilagay niya sa kanyang kape. Kasi, siyempre, matandaan na hindi niya nakikita ka lang yung asukal. Kasi it's very malinamnam daw yung kanyang, ano, yung kanyang iniinom na kape. So, bawal yung sabi ko sa kanya, sobrang dami. So, we'll simmer this, stirring it continuously, and then, when it gets thick, it has to be a little bit thick, I will start tasting it and adjusting the taste. We can add more uh, pressed ground pepper, a little bit more of coarse salt. I use coarse salt when I cook ulam. I use fine salt for baking. So now, Kikita nyo ngayon kung paano yung step by step na pagluluto ng ano kamalis. It's different when you ano, read it from recipes. It looks so fast, parang ang dali-daling gawin. Ano. Well, at least we try to, we try, we always try to make it easier and faster. Kaya nga ang sabi ko, rice flour ang ginagamit. Hindi na yung pigas na giniling. So, we we'll have to taste. And then yung iba po, they use ground peanuts. But I prefer using peanut butter. Kasi madali na mabiliin ito eh. Sa kami sa madalas, mayroon ko isang kitchen. So you get a spoonful of that. Heaping. Medyo marami ng konti. Taste natin. Okay. I'll add sugar. A little bit of sugar. A little bit more of pepper. Masarap na po siya. I like the taste now. And then, we'll add the peanut butter for the manamis manis. Makikita nyo naglalangis-langis yan. Uh, because it's that, that's the ano, that's the atsuete. That is coming out. Kasi, when mixture gets thick, ang tendency ko ng oil is to separate. Lalabas at lalabas yun. Kaya pag sa mga gravy, sa mga sauce ng mga ulam natin, pag uh, natutuyo na yung ulam, yung sarsa, sabi nga nila, nagmamantika. Well, that's the oil that you added. And cooking the, ano, the ulam. Now, I'll add a peanut butter. And this will make it taste better. I started eating tamales. And somebody requested me to please teach it to them. Mga ano po ito, mga estudyante yung nagpupunta sa ibang bansa. So sabi ko, hindi mo na kumakain ng tamalos yung bata ako eh. But now I eat it na. Lalo na ako nang pag akong gumagawa. Alam ko ang lasa. Okay, good. It has to be a little bit salty ah. Salty na malangis na mes. Okay na. Done. Okay, we will saute the boiled chicken in a little ano, a sweaty oil. And season it with a little salt and pepper. Para lang po may timpla. It doesn't have to be salty, ha? Remember, yung ating red part is already salty. Maalat po yun. 
So if you're going to try this recipe, wag kayo magula. Talagang maalat yun ng konti. Tapos we'll add the pepper, freshly ground, and then a little sugar. Wala lang, ganyan lang siya. Luto na yung manok, nilaga na. Tapos yung ating pinaglagaan ng manok, yun ang ginama, gamit namin chicken broth. Finish. Ito lang siya pumula, maganda itsura niya, hindi maputula, at meron siyang konting seasoning ng pepper at sugar. So, we'll set it aside. So, we we'll now go to the second part, the white part of the tamales. So, of course, dahil white part, we'll be using cooking oil na wala at sweat eh. And then, para hindi masunog yung ating bawang at hindi man siya magkaroon ng kulay, I will add, hit muna natin yung ating cooking oil. So, medyo mainit-init na. I will add the onions first. Hindi tayo pwede gumamit ng may kulay ng sibuyas dito kasi gusto ko puting-puti yung ating, uh, yung ating uh, tamales. Mas maputi siya pagkabigas. Okay. Yeah. So, we will uh, saute until soft, until transparent, para lumabas yung sweetness ng ating ano. Kung hindi, maanghang siya. Pag, hindi, pag pulang siya sa gisa, maanghang siya. I season this with a little salt, a little pepper. For onions, you can use high fire. But for garlic, I, I always use low fat. So, now, medyo ilalagay ko na ito para mag lumabas naman yung kanyang lasa pero hindi nyo dapat i-brown. So, I add the garlic. And if you feel you, na you need some more cooking oil, kung meron pong nagsebo, nag-firm na cream sa tabi nyo, like meron ako ngayon dito, so as yung tibok-tibok, hindi na ako kukuha ng additional na cooking oil, I'll just get dito. Dito ako kukuha. Kasi mantika ito. This is fat. Mm. Malasak So viewers, manood po kayo mabuti because we're not hiding anything from you. This type of demonstrating was especially requested by Alfie. Sabi ko, Alfie, cooking lesson ang inihingi mo sa akin, hindi cooking show, ha? Sabi niya para daw, ano, matuto yung mga viewers. So, ito na po. Kaya sinasabi ko na sa inyo lahat. Basta dinemo namin, makikita niyo lahat. Kung paano namin ginagawa sa school. Yeah. So, magkaroon tayo ng konting ano ngayon, yung na-flavor pa yung ating, nagkaroon pa ng flavor yung ating onions. Ay, ayan na po yung katakan dyan na. It now serves as the oil na sa ating uh, sibuyas. Now, I can add, uh, maybe this, uh, later na yan. I will start adding the onion. I will now add this. Stir it well again kasi uh, ang tendency po niyan, pupunta sa ilalim yung, ano, yung rice flour niyo. So, lower the flame. I'll add a little bit. At hindi pa yung hawak ko ng isang hawak lang yung kaya hindi ko muna to. Ang isang kamay, mabigat po yung ating ano, container na iaag ko. 
para hindi masyadong mainit yung ating ano tawali. All you have to do now is cook it until thick. Yung parang nagro-roll na siya sa, sa kawali. And then after that, season it with more gata. Kung gusto nyo mas creamy ang taste niya. More uh, pepper. More salt. Ya-add ko na rin po yung aking ano, uh, chicken broth. With a piece of bouillon. There. And then may naiwan pong sediment dito. When I was testing this re recipe, I always come out with the no, 11 pieces of tamales. Sabi ko, bakit 11? Kaya ginawa kong 12. I hope magiging 12 ito. Kagabi ko lang, in-adjust yung recipe. Para isang dosena siya, hindi siya labang isa. Okay. Isang lang natin ang ating apoy. Ito ang isang kailangang virtue mo sa pagluluto ng mga kakanin. Matyaga ka dapat. Because you have to stir this continuously until firm set. Okay, we're almost done with the tamales mixture, the white mixture. Ito na yun. Pagka yung ganyang, pag pinul mo siyang ganyan, humihiwalay na siya sa, sa, ano, sa kawali, then it's, ano, it's done. Now, if you want it firmer, you can cook it a little bit more. Pero ako kasi po, yung gusto ko yung tamales, mas straight from the rep, makakain ko siya ng... Kung tinatama na ako mag-microwave, malambot yung pa rin. So, I'll, I'll stop na at this ano, consistency. So, I'll measure. Mas gusto kong binabalot ito pag medyo malamig na. Kasi it's more firm. Napag-cup. You can cook it firmer, pero ayoko naman ng ganun dahil pag nirep mo yung tamalis, mamatigas. Palamigin nyo lang. Kaya lang, we don't have that uh, luxury of time pag sa taping po. Have to do it tuloy-tuloy. Mm. And then, spread it into a square. Tapos, I'll get the red part. Maybe about two tablespoons. Ito yung parang sarsa niya eh. Na-realize ko na ngayon nung ginagawa ko kung para saan yung bakit may pula, may puti. So, I'll put a little pepper. And then, uh... And then, eto na. I'll wrap it to small part. A small part of the leaves and then make that way. There. And then fold it. And fold it. You will now take the shape and size of the dahon. And do not try to, ano, to tie it uh, tightly. Kasi nang ginawa ko po yun, napunit yung aking dahon. So, ano lang, para lang siya magsara. Hindi siya dapat may pit. At kung wala kayo, naubusan kayo ng pantali, you can use the, yung malapit sa ribs nung, ano, nung dahon, you can use that, those pieces of, ano, parang tali yun eh. Yung dahon ng saging. You can use that to tali, to use a tali of your, ano, of your tamales. Tali. Para lang siya magsara. Hindi siya kailangan mahaba, hindi siya kailangan mahaba ang tali. Nung una akong gumawa, hindi siya pwede talagang tumakbo. Because I think I put 8 crisscross, uh, uh, tinriscross siya ng 8 beses para matali yung aking tamales. Hindi naman pala kailangan. Masaral mo lang siya tapos na. It's like a big balutan. A balutan of food. So there. So hindi siya dapat tight. Kailangan lang, huwag magbukas ito. Now, I will place them in my steamer. So, eto na yung aking tamales. Uh, ilalagay ko na dito sa steamer ko. Kailangan yung ating steamer ngayon, kumukulo na yung tubig ha. Before, before you put your tamales na nakalayer na, hindi siya patong-patong ginagawa ko kasi hindi naman siya masyadong firm. Yung iba, pagka firm at maraming dahon, pwede nila siguro pagpatong-patongin. So, we're now ready to steam our tamales. 
we came out with ano, uh, 12 pieces. Sa so, just ko recipe kagabi kaya para maging labing dalawa. Tapos since the mixture is already cooked, niluto na natin kanina, ang tagal nga nating niluto. Tapos binalot natin sa dahon. Ang ano nito sa steaming is para magkaroon siya ng shape ng square pagkatapos at the same time maluto po yung dahon to longer or ano yung shelf life po ng tamales natin para mas mahaba ang buhay. Tapos kukuha siya ng tintad dun sa ating dahon ng saging. So, the water is already uh, boiling. Uh, hininaan ko lang kanina. Tapos, uh, we can steam this uh, for about 30 minutes lang. Pwede na. Basta pag nakita niyo yung nag-wilt na yung dahon, okay na yun. Kung malalaki dyan, siguro mga 45. Pero ako, mga 30 lang. Tama na yun. So, we'll cover this. And it, dahil dalawang layer lang po yung ating steamer, hindi naman kailangan malakas na malakas yung apoy. Mamaya, pag gumulo na yan, isi-simmer ko lang. Hihinaan ko. Okay, excited na ako. Ang aking favorite part, ang finished product. Nakailan hmm? tamalis ba dun sa isang? Hindi siya bumibili eh. Hindi siya kumakain ng tamales. Bits. So, ang akala ko, buong akala ko, ang tamales, matamis. Curious na curious ako until nga one day, tinikman ko dahil ang in-expect kong lasa, matamis siya. Sabi ko, ay, hindi masarap. Bata ako nun. And I didn't know any better. Of course, nung ngayon, naku, kayang-kaya kong umubos nito. Masarap na masarap sa, al ay, sa almusal at ito ay mukhang ayan. Sabi ng tito boy mo kanina, mm -hmm. pagka daw pala may mga topping na itlog, manok, ganyan, tamales. Mm -hmm. Pero pag ang topping niya, piniritong ma ano, garlic, mm -hmm. boboto. Yun ang I don't difference. Know, I don't know how true, pero sabi daw nung nagtitinda, yun ang difference. So, mas mura pagka boboto, pag tamales, oh, oh, pero... parang special. Oh well, yun ang sabi lang niya, hindi natin alam. Ang alam ko pang tamales. Kasi gusto ko, actually gusto ko lagyan ng piniritong garlic yun sa ibabaw eh. Pwede siya. Oo, yeah. kasi parang mas masarap ka ako. Mm. 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 Chicken. Hindi mm. masyadong maalat. Yung iba medyo... Manamis na mis ng konting konting mm, konti. because of the peanuts, no? No, peanuts, peanut butter, yes. saka may konting asukal yan. Uh -huh. Ay, ang sarap. This is a uh, yung recipe ko na panood din niyo kanina, no? This is yung rice flour so yung mga kaibigan natin sa abroad, pwedeng-pwedeng gawin pwedeng, to. This pwedeng is an gawin easier yan. version to do yung alam namin na minis ninyo kinakain na walang ganyan sa states, di ba? Yung tamales. Okay? Sana po na-enjoy ninyo ang aming episode for today. At sana subukan ninyo ang recipe na to. Easy version ng tamales. For your comments, questions, and suggestions, send us a message sa aming Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash Mrs. Galang's Kitchen. This has been another episode. Maraming salamat. <music>